From the Mind of Critic, April 5th, 2019. If we can't help but yell when expressing our displeasure with those we disagree with, then are we stooping to their level by attempting to drown them out? Are we blowing things out of proportion by launching into a loud and boisterous diatribe about the historical underpinnings behind supremacy, slavery, and ethnic cleansing, thinking this person is living out the ugliest and darkest part of humanity, when really, they just wanted to give us a hug and say they appreciated us? Are there real incidents of racial tensions, harassment, persecution, hatred, and violence that take place, which get overshadowed when somebody's claims aren't authentic? Have we as a society become so sensitive that we blow up at anything deemed a slight? Isn't that what the money changers need to continue the greatest hoax in American history, weaving the illusion of their power? We have many, many generational issues of hate, supremacy, and institutionalized racism. We simply, we must simply not just get over, but create the foundation for when people can come together. If somebody is yelling in great detail why and how exactly we're wrong, they're just as likely to not listen to us as we are to not listen to them. Why do we think yelling will get others to budge one inch from the darkness that has been chiseled for a millennium? Unless that's it, we don't unless that's it. We don't care about them coming around. We're bitching simply to bitch, putting a useless exercise into the universe that not only plays right into these racists cycle, but puts up a brick wall between us and the progress filled, peaceful future where humans unite around ideas of truth, humanism, and accountability. Once we realize the louder the voice, the more closed the mind, we'll see talking conversating and expressing to others we disagree with is how we unite around an idea we all agree with being human and loving each other extremists fear the other side humans welcome dialogue volume doesn't translate to clarity it adds to the fog we're all human whether we choose to see it or not by drowning out the other side we're drowning out ourselves Yelling works if we don't want to change anything. Lovingly explaining works if we do.